I made a video this morning stating how many progressives actually aren't driven by a sense of social justice. Instead, they lack a fundamental sense of meaning in their lives. And in order to deal with that lack of meaning and nihilism, as well as their own personal failings, they adopt the role of a sort of hero figure who fights against a supposedly evil system. We see this all over the place in modern society, and once you understand that these people don't actually look at reality for what it is, but instead through an ideological lens of oppressed and oppressor, the whole leftist world starts to make sense. One of the main culprits here is BLM. They were the talk of the town only a few years ago, however they faded from public consciousness because they spent all of the money they grifted on mansions and so forth. But they're back in the news, at least the British arm of it is, as a firearms officer has been found innocent for the killing of young black male Chris Cabba. Now, if you're to listen to the liberal media, Chris Cabba is the typical engineer, architect, beloved member of the community and talented musician. And one day, an evil white police officer just saw him innocently driving in his car and thought, you know what, I think I'm going to shoot him in his head because, you know, black lives don't matter. But once you step outside of the Guardian Easter wet dream, you see things are a little bit more complicated. A report from The Telegraph a couple of years ago stated that Cabba was suspected of involvement in a nightclub gun attack. Also during the court case after the killing, it was reported that police had been looking for the Audi Cabba was driving as the registration was linked to reports of gunshots in Brixton the night before. Further to that, it turned out Chris Cabba was also a drill rapper known as Mad Itch. Now, people more in the know than me inform me that Mad Itch is a reference to an itchy trigger finger. So, it's starting to look like Chris Cabba may not be the innocent little bunny some people would like to make him out to be, but of course that doesn't justify killing someone unjustly. And much of this case has rested on the fact that no gun was found at the scene of Chris Cabba's killing. However, the BBC have released footage just before Cabba was shot, which shows you what he was up to. On your screen right now, I'm playing the footage from the BBC, and you can see that the police are getting out of their car. Carva looks surrounded, there he is in the car, the Audi in question, and he drives away, ramming into a police car. They're now yelling at him to put his hands in the air, to get out of the car, but of course, he doesn't listen. At that point, he shot. Now, you may say that the police officer acted quickly here, but the police officer stated in court that he felt, given the police cars were being rammed by Cabba, that they were in imminent danger. Henceforth, he took action. And the prosecution couldn't use the line that Cabba was simply shocked and trying to get away because he made a WhatsApp call 10 minutes prior to a friend stating that he thought the police might be after him. So it seems the policeman took severe and decisive action. But as we've learned from America with these cases so often, if you just obey to the police commands and do what they say, maybe don't ram them or attack them, the chances are you won't get shot. Yet that's not going to stop the BLM types trying to turn this into a George Floyd case for the UK. Here they are, neatly choreographed, making their pitch to the TikTok generation. Now is the time more than ever to join a movement where justice and accountability are the norm. True justice is more than a verdict in this case. It is real repair, real healing and lasting transformation. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. We need you, our community, all concerned citizens who think that the police should be held accountable for their actions and should not be allowed to kill with impunity. We urge you, gather with us here today outside the Old Bailey at 7 p.m. Chris's family needs your support now more than ever as we receive this devastating news. We understand that for us as a black community in particular, our lives still mean nothing to this system. What really bugs me about this is how they use the emotional manipulation of the authorities don't care about black lives when the police officer acted like he did because he felt that lives were at risk, predominantly black lives, given that's who drill rappers tend to target anyway. But it begs the question, what do the BLM types want the police to do here? Do absolutely nothing when people have been credibly accused of gun crimes, ram them with a car? And when that case goes to court, make sure every single court in the land just sides with the black kid basically because it suits progressive ideology. This is, of course, madness. And it's madness that never leads anywhere good. Remember Sasha Johnson in the UK a few years ago? She tried to reawaken a sort of neo-Black Panther movement and ended up getting shot in the head. The ever-trustworthy and in no way ideologically possessed Diane Abbott was more than happy to blame white people for that, even though she got stuck in the middle of a black gang fight. Oh, and by the way, black lives mattered so much to the witnesses there that they wouldn't even report who the shooters were. 
But still, the Chris Carber situation hasn't stopped the BLM types trying to make this Britain's George Floyd. And plus, even when you look at the George Floyd case itself, it's full of inconsistencies. The guy was screaming he couldn't breathe before he was even on the floor, he was high on drugs, and he was a career criminal. But that hasn't stopped the powers that be in America making statues of him, venerating him as if he's some saint, the new Saint George, I guess. All of this leads to a very obvious conclusion. If you're a firearms officer, God knows why you want to be one in this day and age, why oh why would you needlessly shoot a young black man? You know you're going to be on the front pages of the world's liberal media who are going to rip you to shreds and be so uncharitable it's going to destroy your life. But this is the state of modern Britain in the modern Western world, and some poor souls have got to do that job. I'm sure not all of them are perfect, but I dare say a great few of them have the same concerns that we do. These are just my thoughts, however, do let me know what you think down below. Do consider subscribing to the channel.